minimum credit card payment. A credit card has a minimum payment. The minimum payment of a credit card is very little money. Everybody can afford. The only thing you need to learn is how to use the credit card. The due payment of your credit card is supposed to be the same pay date so you can afford to pay the credit card the minimum. If you don't pay the minimum, that's when you, you get into a trouble. I don't want to use the word where I get demoralized. So when you pay the minimum payment for your credit card, then you are able to move on because you're gonna build your wealth by getting so many credit cards. All the lenders, they look how you use the credit card and when do you pay them. If you have several type of credit card, that's when you hit you nail it. Card history is very important. If you don't have a credit card history, you need to have to build one. How do you build your credit history? All the credits you have, you should not even single minute return or stop using your credit card because the credit history is very important if you look on your statement or if you check in your app you will see the date you started having the credit card until today credit card numbers what's your credit card numbers a credit card has toll free number a credit card has a pin number a credit card has a number whereby the month and the year a credit card has an expiring date don't forget when you don't renew your credit card, you will be able still to use the credit card, but the other side, they will not be able to charge the credit card. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card. A credit card has money. A credit card has money where it's issued by a lender. A lender issue you the money so you use and then you can pay back. When you use the money, you need to pay back according to the statement. When you have the statement from the credit card, it has like how much you should pay when you use. When you use the credit card, try to use and pay back the minimum payment because the credit history is very important. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card your first credit card you can get your first credit card at the bank where you deposit your money when you go you can ask them can i have a credit card if you it's your first time to have a credit card what you need to do is to go and get a deposit of some lump of money you can deposit 500 or 300 and that when you use that credit card and you pay then they can issue a credit card with your money that means the credit card you have it's like you're learning and you're educating yourself when to pay and how to use the credit card don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card because the credit card will help you to build your credit score a difference between a credit score and a credit card is totally different don't forget that in this channel i talk I about love to talk about the money because she has money if you don't have money you will not talk about the money money hates the people who misuse them you have to respect the money in order to have money i'll repeat again you need to respect the money in order for you to have the money credit card due payment it's always on your statement every credit card has its due payment and every time you have a credit card you receive a statement too what's that credit card whoever issues the credit card they usually send you a statement showing and when and how much and the balance you have on your credit card don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card Stop using your credit card if you know that you will not have a payment closer to the due payment of your credit card. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card. Because if you use your credit card and you know that you're not going to get paid or you don't have money to pay back, you have to make a minimum payment. What's your minimum payment for your credit card? Don't forget that if you pay only the minimum payment for your credit card, your credit score and your credit will remain the same. Don't forget to minimize those things. And don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel. Credit card information is fine app. It's always at the back of your credit card. The credit card has its own top free number and the credit card has its own expiring date or its issue date or it's the year which it's going to expire. The best credit card is a credit card which has a cash back. A credit card which has no cash back. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card. 
because the credit card with cashback will always pay back itself. Don't forget when you have several type of credit card, it helps you not to use one credit card and then you are not able to pay the credit card. The benefit of having several type of credit card, that helps you to know how to benefit from them. You cannot have just only one credit card. You should have different type of credit card. Let's say, for example, you can have a Capital One. You can have a Wells Fargo. You can have a Mountain America. You can have Alaska. You can have US Bank. You can have a Bank of America. All those credit cards will help you to grow. No matter what, a credit card is always a credit card. It's only a matter of how you're going to use it and how you're going to know when is the due date to pay those credit cards. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the how to use the credit card and you know how to link the credit card to your to your debts let's say for example you have a cable you have a phone you have other little bills you pay and you link your credit card to pay with that that helps you to build your credit card don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card because the credit card will help you to grow and also the credit card and the credit score those are two different types of things remember in america we use a credit score to get wealthy don't forget that there is a difference and especially when you have the credit card which has a cashback you are always getting a cashback which you can use to pay the using your debit card start using your credit card the benefit of using your credit card you're gonna earn point what the benefit of using your debit card the debit card you're just wasting and using your cash which you can use in the time of your I love of a credit card a credit card in America is something which helps you to grow. If you moved into the United States and you have to build your credit card, the first thing you need to do is to get a credit card. A credit card will help you to get improve your credit score. There is a difference between a credit score and a credit card. A credit card is the where you get the money. A credit score, when you spend a credit card, it builds a credit score. From there, you can get everything with a lower interest. If you don't have a credit card, how are you going to purchase? If you don't use your credit card, how are you going to build your credit? It's either you use your debit card, you run out of money, or you use your credit card. Several types of credit card will help you to grow because if you use different and you know how to um, put them and then you pay whenever you use them, that's going to help you to build your credit card. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel. So when you have several types of credit card, what happens to you? You usually get a cashback. You usually have to spend that cashback because you have spent credit card. Don't forget that each and every credit card has its own benefit. Some credit card has more cash back. Some credit card will offer a cash. Some will offer a point. Some they will offer when you pay, you can use the point. Don't forget about the American Express credit card, which you can use the point to pay. When you pay and then you press that you want to pay with the point. When you travel, you can use your point to upgrade your flights to a business class, a first class, or you can check in your luggage earlier before you travel. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the money. Money is very important because if you don't have money, you don't have to worry about because you have a credit card. When you learn how to use a credit card, you are able to save your savings. Whenever you have a credit card with a cashback, what do you do with the cashback? You can either withdraw or you can use the point, the cash to pay back your credit card or you can use it to buy a coffee. Whenever you have money left on your credit card, you can use it to pay also the money you have spent. How do you know a credit card has a cash back? You can learn that about when you go shopping. It's showing only in your statement. How do you avoid paying a um, credit card when you forget how to when to pay? You need to call the toll free behind your credit card. What do you think that I'm not going to use the credit card? The more you put yourself in trouble. Because the more you use your credit card, the more you're going to save money with your Bank. Credit card, they usually make you miserable when you don't know how to use it. Use your credit card when you know that you're going to pay it back. When you learn when it's your due payment, don't pay exactly the your due payment for your credit card. Pay it before 10 days or before 5 days. Before they start the, uh, checking or before they forward your information to the Equifax or wherever they forward your information. 
If your credit card is issued by American Express, they have to report the use, how much you have to use. Where do you find your credit card CVV? Where do you find your credit card CVV and zip code, including expiring date, also including the billing address? When you look in front of your credit card, you will see 14 or 11 digits. But when you turn back your credit card, you're going to see the credit card has a three digit, which is CVV, which including also expiring date and the month of issue. That's how you know your credit card is going to expire this day and you need to change it from paying out of credit money. card can expire when you don't renew. But even though you don't renew it on time, sometimes you can make a payment or you can use it to buy. After you purchase using the credit card, the credit card will be removed or the credit card cannot be used and it will show automatically that this credit card is not used don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the money and the credit card every day i talk about the credit card it doesn't mean that i'm talking about the credit card because i want you just to get a credit card i talk about the credit card because i want you to benefit from having several different types of credit card there is american express there is CIT, there is Bank of America, there is US Bank, there is a lot of different credit cards. For me, living in the United States, I will talk about most of the credit cards which are well known. There is Master and Visa and also American Express. American Express is different from the all other credit cards which you will have. Don't forget to hit the like button, also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card. Also, I talk about the money because if you know how to save the money it's like you are a new kid you and you teach a kid how to treat or to be treated so you respond to your credit according to how you are given if you have to pay your credit card back pay it on time that way you will be able to use that credit card next time if your credit card has a cash back use the cash back because now next time you use the credit card your cash back will help you to pay that credit card don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card credit card helps you not to use your saving for example if you earn a thousand dollars a month which means by every two weeks you get paid five hundred dollars you have to use the five hundred dollars all one time to pay for your bill we have a lot of bills to pay here. You have to gas your car. You have to buy coffee, maybe. You have to buy tea, all, whatever you want to do. By using your credit card, you are able to save the 500. In case you have emergency, you will have money to use because you have used your credit card. You can pay the minimum payment. Every credit card has minimum payment to pay. Don't forget that whenever you have different now, you link those credit cards to your back to my channel. Credit card of American Express, credit card of CIT, credit card of Mountain America, Wells Fargo, American, um, so many ca credit cards. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because every day I teach you about the credit card. And whenever you get a credit card, don't forget to mention my name so I can get something over mentioning all these credit cards. The credit card which has the best cash back for Christmas and then for New Year and then for party. If you want to buy liquor, if you want to buy anything you need, you need to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card. Don't forget that whenever you have a credit card like American Express with a cash back, you are making yourself wealthy. Let's do goofy stuff. Now, we're going to talk about when you share your credit card with anybody. Do you need to give them your PIN? No. Sometimes some credit cards, they don't need a PIN. You can just use the credit card without typing your PIN. How do you use your credit card without using your PIN? You just insert and then click the button yellow or blue. How about if you want to use your debit card without using the PIN? You click the button X so you don't share your PIN with the people. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the money. So, today is the day which we're going to destroy everyone who does not have a credit card. The credit card helps you to improve and save your money.
money if you have several types of credit card you're gonna save your money which you make every day instead of using your savings try to use your credit card and you can pay later let's forget about using our cash because now inflation is real whenever you finish your saving and something happen you will run out of money and instead use your credit card don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit cards can you share a credit card with your boyfriend or your girlfriend i am not sure but what you need to do is you can add them in your credit card so if they are first time they want to have a credit card yes you can let them add a credit card and then when they use it you are going to pay i am not sure if that's the correct way but you need to subscribe to my channel to learn more about the credit card because if you don't subscribe then i will not teach you everything unless you watch other videos which i have posted about the credit card the best credit card is the credit card which has a cashback a cashback is when you go to the to the store you call it department store or a store or grocery store whatever you call it in your country you buy something and then at the end you will see that you have accumulated some points it can be a point or it can be money it's all it can be a cashback let's say for example for example of uh wells fargo wells fargo will cash on your or the money the money the point you have earned they will make give you back a cash another card like american express they will let you use it to travel to buy a point will be translated or transformed into a cash so let's say for example if you want to travel to outside of the united states and then you want to use the lounge let's say for example some airports they have a lounge inside the airport and you want to use the american express it's free i think they have some agreements both that you can use the lounge to use the american express also you can take your luggage also you can grab with the american express credit card because also it's not just given to anybody don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card the more credit cards you have the more you're gonna build your wealth let's say for example if you pay a cable or you pay your phone instead of paying with your bank or you pay from your saving you're gonna link your credit card to pay those debts and for example we are in inflation now if you have several credit cards you will link one credit card it's pay for your phone the other credit card will pay your utility the other credit card will, you will pay your cable and this is how you're gonna save the cash because otherwise you're gonna spend all the cash and you keep swiping your credit card then you don't have saving that's why i always talk about the credit card with the cash back and also several types of credit card and minimize try always to use the credit card which has a longer or which has payment closer or farthest to your payment due or check the credit card when it's it's a due payment if the due payment is closer to your payment due due so you need to take that advantage use that credit card and then pay it and the second pay, paycheck you're gonna pay the other credit card that's how you survive in the credit card the lenders they like to see when you have multiple types of credit cards because they know that you are able to pay them back and you are able to use your common sense or your brain to pay this to pay this and focus outside of work or school or family that you are thinking more also about that the paying of the, of, the, of the bills how you gonna focus on that it's because you remember i have to pay this credit card i have to pay this i have to pay that so all this will make you to think and then when you have done all this the lenders will be willing to give you the the, the money or more credit card with higher with a uh, with higher uh, a lot of money that's what i want to say or with low interest so would you prefer to have your credit card or you would prefer to take a personal loan? What's the difference? The personal loan is the money you go to the bank and they lend you the money which have a fixed payment. And then if you miss that payment, what will happen? A credit card, they don't ask you to pay back this money at a 
a certain time, although there is a due payment, if you pay the minimum payment, you will still continue to use your credit card. That does not mean that you will not use that credit card anymore because you did not pay. And that's a good thing about the credit card. Forget about the personal loan because it's a fixed amount which you have to, to pay. They, they don't give you the minimum. It's the amount which you are asked to pay. If you don't pay the money, guess what? You're going to be in trouble or you're going to be in a put yourself in the shoe because you did it on yourself instead of using the credit card and learn about the credit card using my, uh, my topic about the credit card. The more debts you have, the more money you're going to make. The less debt you have, the poorer you are. So what you need to do is to have more credit cards and then use them. What you need to do when you use them, make sure they are giving you a cash back. And then don't pay off your credit card. The more you pay off your credit card, you see your credit card score drop. So what you need to do is to use the credit card and then minimize the credit card which is almost to due date. That's the credit card you're gonna pay. And keep the other one forward so that you can build your credit and then you can have more money to be given whenever you want a loan. That's how you became a millionaire. You cannot have no debt and you expect a lender to give you a loan. Would you prefer to have a personal loan or a credit card loan? The interest rate matters a lot. So, if you are good with money, you will consider the interest. How much money you're gonna pay overall the interest of the money you're gonna borrow. If you use your credit card, you can carry forward. If you want to have a personal loan, a personal loan has a fixed rate, which you have to pay every month. And if you miss, that is a problem. So, would you prefer a personal loan or to use your credit card. Don't forget to hit the like button or also to subscribe to my channel to be more about credit card numbers. Credit card numbers is the numbers which are in front of the credit card. Each credit card has different numbers. For example, American Express has a number which is behind the card and it's for dating. If you have a card which is American Express, you have a different type of credit card. The reason why I like to talk about the credit card of American Express because credit card of American Express has a lot of benefits. While you can brag using that credit card because it's not just given to anyone, it's given to people who have a higher credit score or they have businesses or they are doing well in their, with their money or with their you know, business or whatever they do. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to help my channel to grow so I can educate you more about the money. And when you learn about the using the credit card and build your wealth, that's the only way because listen to me, we are growing very slow. Like now, inflation. We are heading for things like Christmas, Thanksgiving. You should be buying things to sell because right now everybody is just stuck with the things. Nobody is buying them. They're gonna sell it cheaper so they can have money. And most of the stores, they are being closed. If you have money to buy a franchise or a business which is started by somebody else, this is the best time. If you think about it, take an extra job. Go do your, do your own duty so you can learn how and what I'm talking about because you will think when somebody become a millionaire, it's just they used to sleep 24, I mean 8 hours or 6 hours. Probably the most hours I ever sleep, it's just like maybe 7 or 2 to 6 hours. I usually wake up, meditate, meditate and pray and then I have kids to take to school back to work. And this is how you will feel like everybody looks good but inside them they are not looking good because they are tired and exhausted because of working for paying their credit cards so if you want to have a good life and you stop working all the time
Credit card dues payment is always on your statement. Every credit card has its due payment, and every time you have a credit card, you receive a statement to work that credit card. Whoever issues the credit card, they usually send you a statement showing and when and how much and the balance you have on your credit card. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the following personal loan. Start using your credit card. Each and every credit card, you can withdraw money. All you need to do is to create a PIN, like how you have a debit card with a PIN. You can withdraw or borrow money from your credit card. Instead of having a personal loan, which you have a higher interest rate, while your credit card had a lower interest rate. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card. Because when you borrow a personal loan, then you have higher payment. Let's say, for example, you're gonna have to pay over 200 or 300, while if you borrow the cash from your credit card, you just need to pay it because you have the credit. This is my credit card information. When I talk giving you about my credit card information, that does not mean that I'll give you my real. But I want to educate you more about the credit card. The credit card has its toll-free number. The credit card has expiring date. The credit card has a due payment. The credit card has a minimum. When you re learn about all those things, you're going to be able to use the credit card. And where do you get your first credit card? You can get through the bank or you can put money down to the bank and then they will give you a credit card. When you learn how to use that credit card, then you're going to have a credit card, which is the QR credit card. Don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to educate you more about the credit card. Remember, in my channel, I talk about the credit card.